Pope Boniface IV Latin, Bonifacius IV, d. The 8th of May 615 was Pope from 25 September 608 to his death in 615. He is venerated as a saint in the Catholic Church with a universal feast falling annually on 8 May. Boniface had served as a deacon under Pope Gregory I, and like his mentor had made his house into a monastery. As Pope, he encouraged monks and monasticism. With permission of the Emperor, he converted the Pantheon into the Church of St. Mary and the Martyrs. In 610, he conferred with Miletus d. 624, first Bishop of London, regarding the needs of the English Church. Life Boniface was born in what is now the province of L'Aquila, his father was a physician named John. His family was of Marsi origins according to the Liber Pontificalis. At the time of Pope Gregory I, he was a deacon of the Roman Church and held the position of dispensator, that is, the first official in connection with the administration of the patrimonies. He succeeded Boniface III after a vacancy of over nine months, awaiting confirmation from Constantinople. He was consecrated on either 25 August or 15 September in 608. His death is listed as either the 8th of May or the 25th of May 615 by these same two authorities. Boniface obtained leave from the Byzantine emperor Phocas to convert the Pantheon in Rome into a Christian church, and on the 13th of May 609, the temple erected by Agrippa to Jupiter, the Avenger, Venus, and Mars was consecrated by the Pope to the Virgin Mary and all the martyrs. It was the first instance at Rome of the transformation of a pagan temple into a place of Christian worship. Twenty-eight cartloads of sacred bones were said to have been removed from the catacombs and placed in a porphyry basin beneath the high altar. In 610, Miletus, the first bishop of London, went to Rome to consult the Pope on important matters relative to the newly established English Church. While in Rome, he assisted at a synod then being held concerning certain questions on the life and monastic peace of monks and, on his departure, took with him to England the decree of the council together with letters from the Pope to Lawrence, Archbishop of Canterbury, and to all the clergy, to King Ethelbert of Kent, and to all the English people in general. The decrees of the council now extant are spurious. The letter to Ethelbert is considered spurious by Heffel, questionable by Haddon and Stubbs, and genuine by Jaffe. Between 612 and 615, the Irish missionary Columbanus, then living at Bobbio in Italy, was persuaded by Agilolf, king of the Lombards, to address a letter on the condemnation of the three chapters to Boniface IV. He tells the Pope that he is suspect of heresy for accepting the Fifth Ecumenical Council the Second Council of Constantinople in 553, and exhorts him to summon a council and prove his orthodoxy. There is no record of a rejoinder from Boniface. Boniface had converted his own house into a monastery, where he retired and died. He was buried in the portico of St. Peter's Basilica. His remains were three times removed. In the 10th or 11th century, at the close of the 13th under Boniface VIII, and to the new St. Peter's on 21 October 1603, Boniface IV is commemorated as a saint in the Roman Martyrology on his feast day, 8 May. See also List of popes Topic Notes Topic Topic References Topic Bead Historia Ecclesiastica Gentis Anglorum Mula, Stefano, two thousand three Muhammad and the Saints The History of the Prophet in the Golden Legend PDF The University of Chicago Press p. 178. Retrieved 17 December 2014. Heffel, Karl Joseph von 1869. Konziliengeschicht. 3. Freiburg im Breisgau etc. Herder. p. 66. William of Malmesbury. Gesta Pontificum Anglorum The History of the English Bishops. I. Migny. P. 1465. Attribution. This article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain. Estrike, Thomas. 1907. Pope Boniface IV. In Herbermann, Charles. Catholic Encyclopedia. 2. New York, Robert Appleton. 
Endnotes, Duchesne, Louis ed. Liber Pontificalis in French, 1. p. 317. Gasquet, Francis Aidan A Short History of the Catholic Church in England. p. 19. Gregorovius, Ferdinand, 2, 104 Hunt, William 1901. The English Church from its Foundation to the Norman Conquest 597-1066-1. London and New York, Macmillan and Co. p. 42. Jaffe, Philip 1881-1851. Regesta Pontificum Romanorum ab Candida Ecclesia ad Annum 1198. I. 2d ed. Leipzig. p. 220. Langen, Joseph. Geschichte der Romischen Kirche, 2. p. 501. Mann, Horace K. 1906. The Lives of the Popes in the Early Middle Ages, The Popes under the Lombard Rule, St. Gregory I the Great to Leo III, 590-795. I. 1, pp. 268-279. Mansi, Gian Domenico. Sacrorum Conciliorum Nova et Amplissima Collectio. X. p. 501. Paul the Deacon 1907. Book 3, Chapter 4. History of the Lombards. Translated by Folk, William Dudley. University of Pennsylvania. pp. 36-37. Rumont, Alfred von. Geschichte der Stadt Rom. 2. Berlin. pp. 156-165. Topic external links Topic Biography from cfpeople.org Saints. SQPN, Boniface IV Santibethi, Boniface IV